So um, it's interesting because I've, I've worked really hard to establish mirror images to what it is, and um, it's it's not easy to find good loyal people that you know you can depend on that you can trust, and um, it's uh, it's interesting because when I look back on, on who works with me the closest, it's some of my oldest friends. You know, I, I my editor. I met um, working at a movie theater when I was 16. We've been friends ever since. And um, my co-writer for Matt's Chance is a local Seattle comedian, and uh, we just, you know, worked together very closely. And, and we kind of ran in the same circles growing up, and, and so that kind of started that that whole thing. Uh, but uh, Seattle has a lot of um, great, great crew, a lot of hardworking crew, and so when we set out to make this movie and even my last movie you know I wanted to get to know the film community up here and we found a lot of great crew like our DP Mike Boydston and costume designer Ron Lehman and a bunch of others um, they're just really hard workers and they understand what it takes to get an independent film made you know, it takes a lot of sacrifice and hard work it's right there it's a little more quiet So uh, when we when we decided to sign on with uh, Stiff for the closing night film, um, you know it was really important to me that, that we had a venue that really wanted to push the movie. And uh, the Pacific Place, AMC Pacific Place downtown, they did a really great job. They put up banners and posters and had our you know, had a nice step and repeat you know uh, backdrop for us. Have a red, little red carpet walk, and um, they just seemed uh, out of all the theaters in, in the Northwest, it just seems like they're one of the the most open to promoting, you know, independent productions, which is really cool. And one of the, I mean, one of the, the the great things, you know, when you walk into the theater before the screening, they had the poster for Matt's Chance, my little movie, sitting right there, you know, letting people know that it was going to be playing that day. And so it was really great to have that. Yeah, it was uh, it was an interesting journey making this movie. We had uh, we shot in a lot of great locations. Actually, we shot right around here in the Green Lake area uh, for Matt's Chance, which was cool. And uh, uh, my last feature, The Penitent Man, also shot uh, in this area and all over Seattle. And so it's fantastic to have that as our backdrop. Uh, my next film is actually going to be shooting in the spring. It's going to be a conspiracy thriller, so it's going to be a much different genre. But uh, it's been nice to be able to, to keep it at home in the Northwest. And I'm uh, really happy that Hollywood Reporter has been following your film, Matt's Chance. Yeah, it's been great. We've been getting a lot of little in, uh, indie press attention on the movie, and uh, they've been very gracious, as well as you know a few other publications. So it's been it's been nice to have the attention. It's really nice, and I appreciate you giving me the chance to interview you too. Oh well, it's really nice. I, I'm more than happy to. Thank you. How do people find out about your projects? Uh, well, they can follow me on my website, mirrorimagesltd.com, or uh, they can like our page on Facebook, Mirror Images LTD, or follow the movie Matt's Chance on Facebook as well, and um, we'll post regular updates and things like that from time to time. And you have a lot of links on uh, Seattle True Independent Film Festival talking about your film. That's right, yeah. They've been, uh, they've been very great to promote us and uh, give us that attention. Yeah. I even did a few stories. Yes, you did. Yeah. It was really fun going to the screening it at the a AMC. Screening. A lot of packed, it was a big packed audience. So it was, it was really, really nice. fun. Yeah, it was very cool. And everyone reacted really well to the film, and it was just nice to, to have the film appreciated in the Northwest at and home. It, and it was fun to meet the talent and the filmmakers. Right. That was right. really a nice thing. The question and answer period was For really sure. fun. For sure. Yeah, it's always great to have those, those little QAs. You know, you always want them to be longer. and. You want people to participate, but it's it's uh, it's fun to have them.